Good morning, friends. How is everyone doing? Thought I'd pick up the camera and do some vlogging today. I'm gonna put on my eye patches as I usually do in the mornings. And I have to say, you ever uh, do something or like get a new car or think of getting a new car, let's say for example, a Jeep, you're trying to get a Jeep, all of a sudden you realize like, wow, there are so many Jeeps in this world. I feel like the same thing with eye patches, like because I never really cared to wear them before, now that I do, I feel like I notice them everywhere and I'm noticing <laughs> that they're not wearing them like I am. And I'm like, why is nobody telling me that I'm not wearing my patches the right way? Unless it's like just me or unless it's them. And I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's no right or wrong way to wear eye patches. I mean, there probably is, but you can always do whatever you want. But I'm wondering like, how come nobody, ever, why nobody ever say anything that I am putting on my eye patches? Is this the right way or is this how do how do you guys put on your eye patches if you do because I would go like this I would take the bigger longer portion and apply it right here so it can moisturize this whole area but then I see people apply it the other way where it moisturizes this whole area and then this little guy this makes so much more sense to me honestly because then this way this little skinny tip can actually fit in the inner corner of your eye, which is where I have dryness. And then it moisturizes all of this. And I'm like, no, no, nobody told me. <laughs> Almost like having something stuck in your teeth and nobody wants to be that person to tell you. I need me some friends that are gonna tell, I tell my friends all the time. I'm like, if I have something stuck in my teeth, you better tell me. I'm like, cause I will tell you, you better tell me. <laughs> I feel like that's like the worst when you have something stuck in your teeth. So, I am going to be applying them this way from now on just because I was watching people and I'm like that makes so much more sense. Oh, it actually is so much better. I don't know why I didn't think of this. I know it makes me feel dumb but sometimes you just learn the hard way <laughs> through your own mistakes. So you got to be able to laugh at yourself I feel like. If you can't laugh at yourself then other people will. <laughs> uh, anyway. JK, JK. Made myself my cup of coffee. Got my eye patches on, hopefully the right way. Actually, this, this totally does make so much more sense to me, honestly, because this way I can really get it in the inner corner, which is kind of where I have dryness, and it really moisturizes, and then it kind of takes care of all of this. This just makes so much more sense. So, little tip of the day. If anybody else is like me and has a no clue, I did apply some lashes yesterday. Let me grab them so that I can talk about them because I am missing one cluster. Let me actually sit in front of the mirror that we can see what I'm doing. By the way, I'm wearing my new Amazon merch. It's almost like a goldish type lettering and I chose this font because it reminds me of Christmas and it just says Mary. I have one that says Jolly and it's in this navy type color. I kind of use it as like a pajama shirt with these pajama shorts I have from Old Navy. And it comes in black as well. There's another t-shirt coming in today. It says, tis the season for, or tis the season to be warm and cozy. And that one t-shirt comes in multiple colors. It's like a dark green, like this color here. I just got these in yesterday from Amazon. And I bought them specifically for wearing them as like a t-shirt and biker shorts combo around the house. And wear them with my UGG slippers. But these are actually very good quality. They have two different styles. They have one where it's just like a, band at the top and it doesn't offer any compression at all and then they have another style this one which has a wider band they're both ribbed and this one definitely offers compression I've purchased both styles I have the other one in like a burnt Arizona burnt orange color and then these I got in a hunter green and I love these and I think they were like 10 bucks on Amazon so really good find but as for the lashes, I was going to insert some clips of me applying the lashes, but honestly, I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory of how I apply them. So I figured I would just kind of run through how I feel about them in case you have come across these lashes on Amazon, you were thinking of getting them. They are the Salamine, I'm going to say Salamine, it just makes the most sense to me. And they are the pre-cut DIY lash clusters right here, right from the get-go. They look choppy to me. They are very fluffy, like when you look at them from the side, let me take them out. They do have a bit of fluffiness to them. It's kind of hard to tell, but they are, like especially this one right here, you'll be able to see. So they are a little bit fluffy and dimensional, but the lash fibers are very choppy. 
I don't know what it is about the style. It's almost as if someone just came in and just chopped them off. I don't know, I feel like maybe it's the way that the fibers are designed. They do have a thin band and the band I believe is transparent. It does stick out a little bit in some areas. So you might have to trim it, but they are pretty once they're on. I'm actually wearing them right now. You can see that they are pretty. The biggest thing that I don't like is not just the chopping fibers, but the fact that they have glue dots holding the lashes to the cartridge. And even if you remove all of the glue, the lash band itself is still a little bit sticky and it has like glue on it and it attracts lint. It's bulkier because of that. It just messes with the integrity of the lash band, in my opinion, when companies use glue to secure their lashes to the cartridge. So I definitely much prefer uh, double-sided tape because that way there's no glue, nothing. It's just a lash band. And so what happened was I did try the glue as well. It comes out like so, and it's like this matte white bottle. Love it has the hot pink with it and it does have that micro mascara tip and I will say it works very well. It reminds me a lot of the Lash Links glue. A lot. Pepper, what you doing? So, very similar in my opinion. It's not too wet. I do like the glue. It has held on, but it is a little bit sticky and I feel like the stickiness of the glue combined with the stickiness of the lash band and my eyes would just kept sticking to one another. Like my top lashes will stick to my bottom lashes at night and at one point this whole segment just lifted off because it got stuck and then when I woke up in the morning I felt like alright my lashes, I can feel when my lashes feel funky and this one was like goodness knows where so I just like I went like this and it came right off because it stuck to my finger so the lash band is still pretty sticky like I go like this and I could feel still feel the stickiness and not every lash is like that even though I use the Lash Links glue so I feel like it's not necessarily the glue. I should have tried these lashes with the Lash Links glue, but I wanted to try them out with this glue. So that's like my morning rant. I don't know if anybody has ever had their eye on these. They're not bad, again. Everybody likes something different. I just probably wouldn't purchase them again, but they're really not bad. I mean, look, they give you like a super full look. It's just not exactly my jam. And then the glue I think is really nice. So I actually would recommend the glue and I would probably buy that again. So I'll link both of these down below. I wanted to share about that before I hopped back into my bed. It's like so cold in the mornings now. And I'm, what's on the agenda for today? I put the Christmas tree up, I'll show you guys that. I got a Christmas tree off of Amazon. I searched high and low at so many different trees. I didn't want to buy one that was like $500. I mean, even for $300, I feel like it's expensive. It's under $300, but it's close to $300. And I wanted one that looked very realistic. Like if I'm gonna pay almost $300 for a tree, then it better look very lifelike. And everyone has a different style. I know some people like really fluffy trees. I was going between a flocked tree, but I'm like, as much as I love a flock tree, it's messy. But not just that. I don't know. I feel like flock trees maybe come and go. And if I'm going to invest, in a Christmas tree, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go pretty, pretty uh, in the safe zone. So I chose this one. I'll show you guys, and I absolutely love it. It looks super realistic. Majority of the branches are have like that real lifelike tips, and then there are some fillers that are like those fake, fake looking tips. You'll see, but I would say very good quality. It's more of like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So if you're not into Charlie Brown Christmas trees, then you probably won't like it. And yes, my sweater matches the bed. My bed is much more blue like royal blue my the sweater is more of like a matte darker it's kind of hard to show on camera but it is i promise <laughs> so that's what's on the agenda for today and i told my kids i'll let them decorate the tree today with the one box of ornaments that i have i don't want to decorate like the full blown house i have wreaths i have outdoor wreaths uh picture frames i have little nativity sets little christmas trees things like that i'm, I'm not going to do that until after thanksgiving but I did want to have the tree up, and it is pre-lit. They have a cheaper version, I think, for under $200, by the way, that's not pre-lit. So if you love this style and you want the unlit one, but I feel like hanging Christmas lights on a Charlie Brown Christmas tree is very hard. Because we have been getting a real tree for the past... We've been married for 11 years now. I know, it's hard to believe. We've been married for 11 years. It's so crazy. And every single year we've gotten a real tree. Every single year. The past couple years we've been getting real 
Charlie Brown looking trees and those are such a pain in the butt to decorate. They look amazing. I'll try to insert some photos from the past two years, but they are such a pain to put lights on because you can always see the lights and I just always struggled with it. For this year to make it easier, I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get a fake tree and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. I cleaned up the kitchen because it's usually a mess after breakfast. Changed out the cat's litter, gotta take out the garbage. And I'm gonna try cleaning the head for the vacuum because it's kind of gross. So uh, you just take like a quarter or something on the side, this slant here, right here. And you it, like twists open and pops out and you can kind of clean the brush head a little bit because it is just nasty. <laughs> and I went outside to, popped out the door and I realized it's super warm out. I do want to start the wood stove, but or the pellet stove. It's just super warm and I feel like it'd be the perfect day to clean the leaves because we have a ton of leaves. A ton of leaves. <laughs> we'll see. So I might do that, but I'm just gonna finish cleaning up a little bit. And I wanna do my hair with, cause it's kinda like second, third day here. So I wanna use uh, the waver, I'll show you guys, and do like two braids. I've seen Hailey Bieber doing this a lot lately. Do like two braids right here. One here, one here, and then the rest of it kind of like wave it to give it some texture so that it's not straight and see how I like it. <laughs> We're gonna try it out. As promised, here is the tree. Doesn't it look super realistic? Yeah. I personally feel like it looks real because it has these tips here. Obviously when you go up close, you can see all the wires. I still have to take off the tags and stuff. I just wanted to make sure that I'm keeping it 100% and it is pre-lit. The inside of the, like the trunk is coated with this I don't even know what this material is, but from, from close up you can tell it's taken, but from far away it looks pretty realistic. And I don't know, I just really like it. It's like a cute little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. This is the seven and a half foot one. They have one that's pre-lit, un, that's unlit for even less. And then I got this, is this a tree collar? I think it's called, from Target for 40 bucks. I know my friend Lisa said they have like rattan type ones at Walmart for 20 bucks. I just wanted a metal hammered one. I feel like it matches so well with this that I got at Home Goods, but like slowly kind of putting things together. I just put it up for now. I do plan to do like a wreaths here, take out all my Christmas stuff. And this is kind of like all I have for now. Just like this picture and whatever I got at Home Goods and at home recently. And then my kids like to play with these little knickknacks I brought from the basement. And usually what I like to do is do like a faux wreath here is not faux, actually real branches taken from outside. We have a few evergreens and create like a half half wreath to put here. I just think it makes it look super festive. These are real too, we just got them from the bush outside. So I just thought I would show you guys because it just makes me so excited. All right, in the bathroom, I'm gonna do my hair. This is like two, three day hair. So usually I'll just wear it in a, like a little ponytail, a little bun when it's kind of greasy on top. Made myself a green drink of sorts. I don't know, I just today I felt like I needed some more veggies and stuff. This one has, it's like a green drink, you know? I don't really eat a lot of vegetables as probably I know that I should, but this is like the next best thing for me and I like the flavor, so cheers. It's just so refreshing. I'm thinking to do like braids. I don't know. So I'm gonna do the other one on this side, and then I have my hair waver here, which I like to use on like day two, three hair, because it gives, not only gives nice waves, but I don't know, it just gives like some texture to the hair. So even if your hair is a little bit greasy, it still looks nice, you know? And I feel like this way, at least I can wear my hair down. So I'm gonna go ahead and wave it. And this one is nice, it's from Bedhead. It does go on sale throughout the year on Amazon because it has three different settings. So this is like the smallest wave and then it goes up one more time and then one more time for a really deep wave. <laughs> I feel like a little girl. I feel like if it wasn't for these big old hair tie things here, it would look a little bit better. It's definitely fun and I think in the summertime I had a whole phase where I was like obsessed with 90s. I think 90s definitely came back 90s trends just in a different form this summer especially. I know, avoid rigging leaves as much as possible. It's as of the Lord 
took care of me and sent some rain. So it started raining right as we went outside. So I'm like, you know what, let's just go to Walmart. I don't know why it's so bright. So, you know, can't be raking leaves when it's raining. So Walmart, Walmart it is, Walmart won. I don't why control the weather. Why Walmart if it's raining? Because we need some stuff. I just feel like I'm not gonna forget stuff. So I'm trying not to forget stuff. I was gonna get a Starbucks first, but there's way, way too many people at Starbucks and probably just buy some pods here. So let's go guys. It's like legit downpouring right now. Well, it's actually really started raining pretty bad. Actually, it's growing on me. This hairstyle is growing on me, but. What means growing on me? It means like I'm starting to like it more and more. I found these, they're like different shades of brown and then a clear one. And I feel like it's just gonna make a huge difference because my kids keep asking me why. Mom, why do you have these things by your face? It's like, kids are so ruthless. This is so, so much better, you guys. So much better. <laughs> Look at this. They eat one more. So much better. I, I probably looked so silly at Walmart, but you know, YOLO. I literally do not care. So much cuter when you have like, don't have these things just sticking out inside your head. So, so Walmart usually has uh, Nespresso pods, the Starbucks ones, because they sell Nespresso machines. And I walked through, they, I can't find the Nespresso machines. I see all the Keurigs and all the coffee makers. I walked through the entire kitchen section, walked through the coffee section on the other side, walked through all the home aisles and like nothing. I don't know what happened to the Starbucks pods or the Nespresso that they used to sell. And I'm all out of pods, you guys, so. That's kind of a bummer. And they're going to the other one. The other one had it. Look at all this. Mama. Home. I ended up going to two Walmarts because the first one didn't have the Starbucks pods, like I said. And Starbucks is probably the next best thing after an espresso. Believe it or not, I used up all those holiday, their new blends right now are so good. But the, I'm assuming the merch shirt, my other one came in. This guy here. So let's open it up. It says, "Tis the season to be warm and cozy. Very similar, a little darker print than this mirror. This one's more gold, this one's more of like a tanny brown. And the warm and cozy is almost like a brushed script. Love this color, by the way. It's not a perfect, perfect match for the biker shorts. The biker shorts are definitely more olive, dark olive. But I feel like once I pair it together, it'll be super cute. So I'm gonna put on these biker shorts. And I have this sports bra from uh, Old Navy. I'm not even sure if they have it, but this is like a, also a very dark olive type color. By the way, this is a unisex small. I love the long sleeve length. I don't, I don't like when the sleeves are so short. So love that a small has really long sleeves. And I would say it kind of like, kind of covers the bum, but not completely. And inside they are, the sweaters are very soft and just super cozy. And this is the tee. I didn't put on the biker shorts yet. I got an extra large because I wanted it to be like a sweater, uh, sweater, like a t-shirt, dress, pajama shirt of sorts so that you can sleep in it. So this is an extra large. I feel like it is the perfect size for a sleep shirt and it just says, tis the season to be warm and cozy. I'm sure you're in front of the window. I think it is super cute. I love the collar. Also comes in like a reddish, like a dark wine burgundy. I don't know, something about this color I absolutely love. So I'm gonna try on the biker shorts. And this is with the biker shorts. It's kind of like a cute, you can get it at a large if you wanted it to be not as long, but I feel like for lounging around the house. And then my Ugg slippers here. Thought I would share, if you guys are interested, I will leave the links in the description box down below. Truly, tis the season to be warm and cozy. Sat down by the fire and took like a 15 minute nap. I don't know what it is sometimes, like I don't, I. Lately, for the past, I want to say half a year or more, I rarely take naps. Probably the past year. I used to always before, I'm not gonna lie, like two, three years ago, when I was uh, even in my 16s, I used to always take naps when I was pregnant, throughout my pregnancies. But for the past year, I have not been taking naps, and then sometimes, occasionally. So I don't know if it's like the weather, or time of the month, whatever. I just, all I need is like 10, 15 minutes, I'm telling you, and I feel like a brand new person. <laughs> What's up?
I got this idea from my sister-in-law, Alina. She did this last year with a different wreath. These I just got at Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off for $7.99, so we got it for $4 a piece. I'd say it's a very good deal. And I love how they look. They have a little bit of flocked. They're a little bit flocked. And then I got the gold ribbon at Hobby Lobby as well. I was gonna do all eight, but I feel like if I did all eight, it would've been super overwhelming. And then I like how the green kind of like ties in together. So love how everything is coming together. So Christmassy and so cute. We are back home. Got Aviana from choir. We ended up not going to coffee with the girls. It didn't work out, but I did order sushi instead. So while Aviana was in choir, we went and picked up the sushi. And by the time we drove back, it was time to pick her up. So now we're gonna eat. I have been craving sushi for so long. I just love sushi. But there's like one food that I could eat every day, it's sushi.